My name is Tyler Barton. I'm a graduate student in the geology department here at Michigan Tech. And I'm part of a, what's called the Peace Corps Master's International Program, which means along with my graduate degree, I also spent a little over two years uh, in the Peace Corps, serving in the Peace Corps. Uh, I was in El Salvador, uh, and it was a, a fantastic experience. And while I was down there in the Peace Corps, I was also collecting data that I'm using for my, for my graduate degree. And I went down there uh, originally thinking that I was going to work on volcano hazards. Uh, and so I was living in a, in a part of El Salvador on the flanks of a, of a very active volcano. And I start, so I started, I started working in, in that theme and that topic. And little by little I came to realize that the people down there, they, were, they weren't really interested in in the volcano hazards and evacuation routes and things like that. Uh, however, my community, my small community, was also built on the edge of this little lake, and the lake would flood regularly. Every couple years there'd be a massive flood, and hundreds of people would have to leave their homes. And so in keeping with the ideals of the Peace Corps, and in order to do something where I could give back to the community, I decided to change the focus of my, of my degree and work in flooding hazards instead. So I'm, I'm doing a lot more work with uh, in, in hydrogeology instead, uh, and, and just to do something where I can give back to the community and something that the community members could could really get behind. Uh, and so now I'm, I'll be I'll be doing a lot of well computer modeling and uh, and looking at uh, satellite images of past flooding events and dry events, uh, and and doing a whole sort of uh, geological analysis of the of the watershed and of the of the flooding of the areas and the danger zones but that's not really enough uh, because all this science is great but it's important to incorporate it into the daily life of the community members uh, so what I'm really trying to do is bridge that gap between the general public and sometimes complicated scientific terms and uh, scientific ideas. And so in order to do that, I, uh, I've got a social scientist as well I've been working with here at Michigan Tech on my, on my committee, and we're looking for ways to, uh, to use our geological knowledge of disasters and make it much more useful. For example, uh, here in the U.S., if we want to make an evacuation route, uh, for a flood, a fire, anything, we put up a, a green sign with the words evacuation route and that's it. And we don't think twice about it. But down in some of these smaller communities in these rural areas, most of the people can't read or write. So a sign with the words evacuation route becomes a little, becomes useless because not everyone is going to understand what it means, especially not in the context of an emergency where where they're uh, where they're under a high stress environment, and so really what I'm doing here at Michigan Tech is uh, is trying to f just bring this information that exists. Uh, we have the tools; we know what to do in case of an emergency, uh, but it's not easily accessible to everybody in these smaller communities. They don't know where it exists. They don't. They may not understand the vocabulary. They most of them don't even have a computer or access to the internet to, to find all this information. And so one of the, the things I'm most proud of in my work is being able to bring it all together and hopefully do something that can save lives in the context of natural disasters.